Here's another video editing tutorial, except uh, I feel a little bit embarrassed to even call it a tutorial because as I've said before, I'm completely self-taught at video editing. I just bang at this thing with a rock until what I want comes out of it. But I think what I've discovered here is pretty cool and uh, I, I really would like to show it to you. What I'm gonna show you is a way of synchronizing uh, well, this is flight video, and the goal here is to have the flight videos synchronized with each other, even though different parts of them happen at different rates. So this is video of me flying down the road in various uh, flight testing, and this this range testing here, it's coming, it's coming, you can see I'm working on it. And what I need is I need to have the, the copter be at the same point at the same time on each of these videos. But sometimes the first half of the flight was fast and the second half was slow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I need to do is sort of a variable stretch so that all of them are at the same point. And I found what I think is a pretty easy and effective way of doing that. So let's assume that we're gonna use this one here, the two pineapples one as the sort of master track that all the others are gonna be synced to. And actually I've already done the syncing for all of them except for this next wave one. So this is the one we're gonna be working at the next wave in the lower right. So we're syncing the next wave to the two pineapples. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find individual uh, markers, you could call them keyframes even, in the flight path. So I'm gonna slide the playhead forward and let's use as the first sort of marker this white mailbox here. I apologize that this is really small, but there wasn't really an easy way to get this much bigger on the screen. So we're gonna use this mailbox as the very first marker. And I'm gonna scrub forward until the copter is just about to pass the mailbox. And then I'm going to use the cut tool, the razor cut tool, and I'm gonna cut right there. Then I'm gonna look at my master track and I'm gonna scrub forward or backward until I find that same point. So in this case, this copter has already passed that white mailbox. So I'm gonna scrub backwards until we see the copter pass the mailbox. There we go. So now this copter, the master track is just passing the mailbox. Then I'm gonna use the rate stretch tool, which is this one. And I'm gonna stretch this down until it now matches that point. And then I'm gonna slide this back so it's contiguous. And then that whole process continues and you can pick your sort of keyframes as precisely as you want. Just find the next landmark. So again, looking in the lower right here, I'm gonna slide forward and let's say that the next landmark is, what can I even see? <laughs> it's a little hard to even see stuff on this tiny, tiny screen. It's easier with a bigger screen. Let's say the le next landmark is this driveway here. So I'm just passing a driveway on the left and I'm gonna cut right there. Oh, it snapped to the wrong, there we go. I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna look at my master track. I'm gonna find the point where I'm just passing the driveway on the left. And actually, they're pretty well synced at that point, frankly. In fact, yeah, they're actually they're actually really well synced. So we won't do anything. We'll just leave that cut point there. They're synced at that point. It's all good. Continue to slide forward. I'm now passing this little bush here. I'm going to cut. And there's the point where I'm passing that same bush in the master track. Not that much different. That's that's pretty close. We'll use the rate stretch tool. We'll tr slide that back so they match up. And we'll slide that down. There we go. And when you're all done, you should see that they're all pretty well synced if you've done everything right. So you can see that as I scrub forward here, if we pick that first white mailbox as a marker here, this first mailbox here, you can see that they're all passing that first mailbox at about the same point. Actually, this one looks a little off. Hold on. Oh no, it's not too far off. There's that mailbox. So they're all pretty close. They're not perfect. You can make it as perfect as you want it or not. And we can continue forward. There's that driveway on the left. Yeah, they're all passing the driveway at about the same time and so forth. Alrighty, well, there's my little tip uh, in the vein of as long as I'm doing it, may as well make a video about it. I hope at least a few of you found this interesting. And if you're excited to see these results, they're coming soon. You can see <laughs> it's a lot of work. So uh, yeah, don't. they're coming soon as soon as I can get all of this nonsense done. But uh, for now, thanks for watching. Happy flying.